Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so you probably guessed from the title, you probably guessed from the thumbnail. I've got a horse. Not only have I got a horse, I've bought a horse. <laughs> so some of you might already recognise this horse. So it is Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. To be fair, when I last had him, I was not doing social media. I had a little Instagram account for him, but with like 150 followers, so not many people. My lips are so dry. Um, we'll know who Sonic is, but I have Sonic back. <laughs> um, so let me tell you a bit about him first. I had him in lockdown when riding schools were shut and yeah, so he's from a riding school. Riding schools were shut. It was my auntie's horse. He came to me. He was an angel. So good. And then when the riding school opened, he went back. Hang on, doggies. Just on a group walk currently. So open that up. There we go. Um, yeah, so he went back when the riding schools opened. And then recently, my auntie messaged me. She was like, do you want Sonic? And I was like, what do you mean want him? Like, of course I want him, but he's not for sale. She was like, no, you can just like, I just want him to go to a nice home. She was like, the home is 10 times more important than anything else. Waffles just had a little water burp. Um, yeah, so she was like, I just want him to go to a nice home. And I know you know him inside out. So do you want him? And I was like, I can't say no. Like he was literally like my little baby for four months. Um, so he's coming back. So it's the day that he is coming back, but this is kind of weird because basically, I did an intro to this video yesterday. I've just gone to edit it and I didn't make any sense. So I'm doing an intro now, but then we're gonna skip back to earlier this morning when I started this group walk. Um, but yeah, he's coming at about midday. Yeah, mm -hmm. so excited. Good morning, everyone. Where are my keys? They're in the door, idiot. Got them. Right, so it is the morning that Sonic is coming. So my plan of action for today I've got a group walk, so I'm going to take you guys along with me for that. I've got three of them in the morning group walk, and then I have three of them in the lunchtime group walk. Um, so, yeah, I've made up some licky mats this morning. Well, I made them up like two days ago. But I added some of the this stuff, baby food, onto it this morning just to spice it up because it looked quite boring. So, on it has um, some water, just to cool them down, just frozen water. Um, puppy peanut butter, a little bit of cheese, as you can see, blueberries, and some of the baby, baby, baby <laughs> the baby food, and then the same on this one as well. Um, so I'm gonna give those to the first two who are always in the van longest. Um, when I say longest, they're in here for like 15, 20 minutes, but you get the drill. Um, yeah, I don't, I was saying to my friends this morning, I was like, I really don't know how I feel. Like, I'm obviously happy, like there's no feeling of like sadness or anything like that, but like, it doesn't feel real like I, I think until he's like in my field i'll be like okay he's mine like i have a horse like what anyways doesn't feel real i don't really i'm a bit like no i'm not getting a horse today like i'm just gonna go do my group walk and chill and stuff like that nope hun get in your brain anyway he's gonna stop talking let's go let's get the doggies out please excuse sit in my van so my doors are currently being fixed so luckily all my dogs get along so well um and they all stay in their crates don't they um but i've just got this for a little bit more protection anyways i'll chop up with some treats first get my hand out normally i do have the best barking behavior ones however i've run out i've had them in order it's not coming for another couple of days so i've just been using a bit of kibble um uh, the last few days right Let's get one, two leads. Rolo waffle, Pippa's got hers on. Okay. Move this out of the way. And that waffle burger, gone. Okay. Okay. Good boy. What are you doing? I'm gonna have to carry him out. So let me pop you guys. Okay, we are all out. We have Rolo, Waffle and Pippa for an hour group walk this morning. Um, we're going to go to the big open fields um, down the lane. There's like a river and stuff and they love it down there. It's a really good hour walk. Oh, actually, that's intriguing. What do you guys do for your walks? Do you like go 
walk half an hour one way, turn around, and then walk it back, or do you do like a big loop? Sometimes loops can be really difficult because you don't actually know um, how long they are until you've done them. Um, it's like when I first <laughs> when I first started, I had to do a lot of trial and error with my walks because obviously you want to make it an hour, but you also have to be quite um, what's the word? You have to be quite careful with your time because you don't want to run over with your pickup t- uh, your drop off time and then your pickups for the next group walk um so yeah let me know how you guys get along with that um why am i out of breath already i'm gonna play a little sniffy game for them um as they've all run off yeah <laughs> so what i do i've got these little bits of kibble um and then literally just spread it all around and this is fun little game for them let's just spread it everywhere get them using their nose what I do on my really warm days when I need them just to chill out for a bit. Good dogs. Can't wait for my best barking behaviour order. I think it's either going to come tomorrow or the next day. There we go. They love it. She's <laughs> so lucky with my walks. Like literally, I just have enclosed fields like this. So there's like a little gap there, and there's another one, and there's a gap on that side. There's another one, there's one big one here, but it's like literally all enclosed. Like the hedge line is all along here, but it's like fencing in the hedge line, if that makes sense. Hey girl! Um, so it's so good because um, I can bring my dogs whose recall isn't 100% and I don't meet anyone because the times that I walk, a lot of people say like, oh, do you not meet loads of people? But as a dog walker, if you're working Monday to Friday, a lot of people walk their dogs you know if they don't have a dog walker before work or after work so that's kind of like the busy, busiest times obviously sometimes i do meet like one or two people um my dogs are really good obviously they're all off lead like if i just show you i mean waffles right next to me but here like they're all very good obviously they would just be on the lead otherwise boys good girl nicely i'm trying to work on our nicely at the moment because she's a bit snatchy good girl good boy Okay, not, not going to lie, I've completely forgot I was vlogging, but I've only been at the yard for about 10 minutes. I'm just currently um, getting a bed together. Oh, well, I say a bed, it's more like a day bed. Love Island. I'm not even watching it. Um, because my yard owner has very kindly um, split this down the middle so they can have their stables during the day, but with the door open and their field gate open so they can go in and out um just whereas it's been a bit hotter if they want i mean he has got shade from the trees he probably won't spend any time in here to be honest um he can come in and out and it actually works really well because in winter this will be the um how it works as well so they can go in and out 24 7 basically um yeah so i'm just doing a little bed um for him just got some hay in there um just for him to settle just need to fill up a water bucket as well but um yeah very exciting this bed is kind of dusty i feel like because i've not been in here like flicking the bed up the last like three weeks all the dust has just like sat so i've got the door open so the dust can like leave but yeah that's what i'm doing right just filling up a water bowl water, bowl, <laughs> water bucket even though he does have his automatic trough over there um, I just thought I'd fill this one up, done a little bed, got a tiny bit of hay, he'll demolish that in about five seconds. And then I just need to go and sort his fencing out at the top. morning everyone it is the next morning <laughs> so i went and got my flywheel yesterday the neck's a bit too big so <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with that but look at him actually this isn't even on so i can just hi it's a bit big isn't it Good boy, eat your breakfast. Come on then. <laughs> this is what he's looking like at the moment. So we're just trying to get rid of 
this and a bit of this and more muscle rather than fat. Um, he's making a face at Dylan, he's literally coming nowhere near him. Hello everyone. So, well, it would have been literally like one second for you guys, but it's about two days later. Sonic's just had his second night here. And honestly, I cannot even tell you how easy he has been. He just kind of, you've just been chilling, haven't you, mate? He's been so good. Um, we're testing out, <coughs> excuse me, we're testing out him coming in and out. So we've separated the yard so he can go into a stable. Look at his face. Uh, but honestly, he's been so good. So I need to give you your breakfast, put your fly rug and fly mask on. Um, I need to sort my tack room out. My tack room at the moment is literally a state. Like when I tell you, like, it's just not good. So I'm going to sort all this out today. But I'm going to sort him out first. Do my poo picking. Hey. All right, mate. His new saddle's coming next week. So he's having a week off just to settle in. I mean, not that he's got an issue with it at all. He literally <laughs> couldn't care less. He's actually really happy, aren't you? It's nice and quiet here, isn't it? Um, yeah, he's doing really good. He's got the farrier soon. Booked him in for some physio. What else have I booked you in? He's got his sheath cleaning in a few weeks. What else have I got you booked in for? I think that's it. His hooves. Do you want to look at the size of his hooves? Right, so he's just typical Irish cob on his passport. But look at the size of these. <laughs> Honestly, he's huge. Hey. Oh, boys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ignore the state of my hair. I had it in a slick bun yesterday and all the hairspray is just sitting on top. Gross. Anyways, I am going to leave this vlog here. Um, yeah, very exciting. He's actually only been here two days and I honestly, he's been a breeze. He literally is not bothered by anything. This is the end of this video. I'm going to do so much more content where it's like dogs and horses in one. I think my next video is going to be a day in the life with dogs and Sonic as well. So yeah, look out for that. Um, any other content, please let me know because I really struggle with what the hell to post. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like Sonic, bless him. He's gonna have, obviously, like I said, a week off and then his saddle is being delivered and then we'll get on with proper work uh, before the summer ends. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go shower and sort this barn out. Honestly, look at the state of it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, come back for my day in the life, okay? Bye guys.